under attack. They want their turf back. Get out of there, asshole. Time to bring someone into the family, Dominic. If you don't want to lose your rackets, you could pay some guards to protect them. Or you could go there. Keep things safe. I don't know. I gotta think about what I'm gonna do. Ain't no roller derby, man! Down they go. My girl begged me for one of these cars, but I want one with more balls, you know? What's on your mind? You need a favor? Yeah. There's something I need you to take from someone. It's not stealing if they stole it from me in the first place, right? Wanna help? Yes. figure out what happened back there. Okay, got him! Speed up, Cap! I need it open. Just a couple more seconds. Dom, I can crack the safe. Let's go find us a mint.
Get out, now, and you won't get hurt. Coming, Dominic. Stop! Somebody get the cops! Dominic. I saw you. Look like you might need some help. Well, if you like dirty work, then yeah. I could use your help. There's this shopkeeper been treating me like crap. I want to run him out of business. You interested? Yeah. Clear the sidewalk, please. Let's make it. I'll finish him off. Oh. Sure, oh. in school. Asshole. Fight. It's not personal. It's only business. I always wanted one of these. Holy crap! You ain't getting away with that. All right, I'm out of here.
going on? I can't get a flight out. Everything's closed. It's the airport workers. They're on strike. Whole place is shut down. Damn it. I need to get back to New York. What am I gonna do? Wait till it's over, and it's getting worse. Other places are threatening to strike, too. Someone's been stirring up workers all over Florida, talking about organizing labor, pooling wages, picketing. What? Someone's pushing that commie bullshit here? Sounds like it. I don't know. Mr. Roth knows more about it than I do. He's here with the friend. They're out in the parking lot. You should talk to them. Mr. Roth, good to see you. What brings you here? I'm here about this strike. It's disrupting our business. My friend and I have a vested interest in seeing the situation resolved quickly. His name is Henry Mitchell. He's an agent with the CIA. An agent? What is this? Dominic, relax. The CIA's our friend. They've been partners with this thing of ours for over a decade. They're in the intelligence business, my boy, that's all. We keep their noses clean. They keep us informed. Simple. Talk to him, okay? Hello, it's Dominic, right? I'm Henry Mitchell. If you're wearing a wire, you better tell me now. Take it easy. I'm on your side, okay? No wire. Mr. Roth and I have been working together for a long time. I called him when I heard about the strike. Eh, they're just a bunch of picketers. They'll cool off eventually. No, it's not them. It's the guy behind them, Alejandro Almeida. He's a Cuban-American and a fucking commie. He's stirring up the city's unions, encouraging violence. The whole situation's out of hand. The feds can't nail him, and local politicians seem unwilling to crack down on him. Yeah, he's probably got him blackmailed. What do you need our help for? Well, officially, I'm just supposed to gather intelligence on Alejandro. But Mr. Roth and I have discussed it, and something else must be done. I hope you understand what I'm saying when I tell you it's in both our interests if Alejandro were to just disappear. <laughs> I heard there was some shit going down at the airport. Hey, Chief, what do you say we knock off a bit early, huh? Go find some girls. Real men buy cars. Workers unite! Equal rights for everyone! Step aside, Listen guys. to me. I'm only gonna ask this once. Where's Alejandro Almeida? Alejandro stands up for men like us. I'll never give him up. Enough. Is this commie shithead worth your life? Then tell me, where's Almeida? Okay, okay. He and his men operate out of the old junkyard. It's not too far from here. Holy crap! Ah! Get out! Not me. Uh. Fucking commie's been all over the news. It's cause they're here, in this country. God knows what they got planned. Bacon, come on, let's split. It's too good to be true, Chief. Got company. Move over so I can get out, okay?
on, snap out of it. Come on. Got a heavy function. I see him. Prove it. Nice car. Too bad I want it. Forget Let's go to the this. airport, Dominic. Right New York's waiting. Now that that shit's finally over, let's go back to New York. I'm with you. Let's go home. Are you thinking of traveling with us today, sir? Have a pleasant flight, sir. Flight? I bet Don Corleone is waiting for you at the compound. Nice wheels! Somebody I want them! Call the cops! I heard Tom Hagen's in town. You know him, right, boss? Of course I know him. I started as an enforcer with the Corleones. Back when I was just boosting cars. We all do, Tom. Get out of there, asshole! Run! You could drive like my sister, Dom. Tony Rosado's family. Let's keep taking them out. Dominic, welcome back. Thanks. Uh, why all the men? What's uh, what's going on? The government has me under investigation. They want to put me in prison. 
Wait for me in the parlor. The Senate is building a case. They have subpoenas for my businesses in Vegas, here, Florida. Dominic, they have someone who will testify against me. Who? Frank Pentangeli. Frank's dead. I, I saw him die. What you saw was Rosado setting me up. The detectives found him half dead, scared stiff, calling out loud that I turned on him. Me? It's been a while, son. I was Florida. It was good, Tom. Dominic, Tom Hagen has been my consigliere, and now my attorney. He's also family. If the Senate is coming for me, they'll be coming for him, too. I need to isolate him from my operations. He's going to join your family and be your consigliere. Tom will be removed from my payroll. Al Neri will handle the transition. Tom. Pay a visit to the senator. Dominic, you're making a name for yourself. Make sure people respect it. Goodbye. Consigliere. Just like old times. It's good to have you in the family, Tom. I just wish it was under better circumstances. Me too. There's been a lot Mike hasn't been able to tell me. But it's safer this way for both of us. You're my consigliere, Tom. I won't keep any secrets from you. Now, who was Michael talking about earlier? What senator? His name is Pat Geary from Nevada. He's a chairman on the Senate committee that's investigating Michael. We're gonna get him on our side, Dominic, before this trial sees the light of day. It won't be easy. He's a United States senator. We can't just pay him off like some backwater judge. We won't have to. Sex is Geary's weakness. He's depraved. We're gonna use this against him. There's a brothel nearby. Some of the girls there are managed by a woman named Rosa Scarlatti. She runs a national prostitution ring. Not really our stock and trade, but she's been loyal to the Corleones for years. Blackmailing a senator? I'm looking for someone good. Someone who's interested in making a little money. I'm a good earner, Dominic. You can't go wrong with me. We're gonna do some business? As they'd say in the real world, you're hired. We got a guy in the slam. I hope smoke. he don't talk. You got one? If Don Corleone goes to trial, shit. This whole thing of ours could be made public. Well, it's our job to make sure that don't happen. With the new soldier. I never trust a guy who talks too much or too little. Someone coming? Oh. Rosa, hello. My name is Dominic. I know who you are. Tom told me you were coming. Did he tell you why I'm here? He did, and I can help. But you guys are asking me to sacrifice a lot. A life. I won't play along just out of loyalty, Dominic. You'll have to do something for me first. It's a deal. So what do you want? I want protection. Look, the state of New York has evidence that can bring down my whole operation. But if they go to trial, a lot of powerful men will have their dirty laundry aired in public. Men who would rather see me dead than on the witness stand. All right. What kind of evidence? Books, records, basically a list of every Tom, Dick, and Harry I've done business with, including some men in Washington. The books are being held in a safe at the Federal Building. Get them back for me. Then I'll help you out.
We may be on opposite sides of the law, but that don't mean we can't understand each other. Hey, I need my space. Why don't you and the boys at the station give me some breathing room for a while? That's a lot of green, my friend. I'll take it. Come on, come on. Crack it. Now. There. Shit, hang on. There's one, I see him! Oh, oh, this. Oh, go that way. Got I'll something go for way. you. Tell me you've done something about those records. The state's got nothing on you, Rosa. Or your clients. You're all safe now. Good, then let's get down to brass tacks. I already started making arrangements with Tom. We have the room and we have the girl. If Geary ever shows up here, we'll be ready for him. Wait, you talked to Tom? When? Just now. He's here. He wanted to see the girl we'll set up with the senator. It wasn't easy knowing what will happen. But her time has come. She's an addict. Bad for business. Maybe it's better this way. They're trying to hit our businesses, Dominic. Tom, it sounds like everything's all set. Almost. The only thing left now is to convince Senator Geary to pay a visit. He'll have to do it of his own accord. If Geary feels coerced into coming, he might see it as a setup. I know. That's why you have to be careful how you talk to him. I've arranged a meeting for you. The senator thinks you want to talk about purchasing a company and that you need his help. Good. Now all I have to do is get Geary to take the bait. Best thing to do is to appeal to his vanity. Tell him you're having problems with the deal. Political problems, business problems, whatever seems to draw his attention. Geary's got connections. Make him think you're willing to deal if it'll get him on board. Now go. He's waiting for you. Hey, cutie. Did you know I'll be meeting a senator later? You must be something special, babe. You jealous? It's not like he's my boyfriend or nothing. Killing a woman. Next round's on me. Always lift Senator Geary, my name is Dominic. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. This is a nice place your man Hagen found for us. But let's cut the bullshit. 
What did you want to talk to me about? Politics, Senator. I have an opportunity to purchase a foreign company, but the deal's being held back by red tape. Not to mention the profits I'll lose on tariffs. I was hoping that you could help. So you can't get your deal made and decide to blame the politicians? Well, let me tell you. Red tape's there for a reason. So men like me can cut it, understand? So why should I help you? Because nobody's connected like you, Senator. You pull strings every day. You're on every big ticket committee in Congress, and half of Wall Street owes you a favor. I need a man like you. You don't need me, Ben. You need my friends. But I'll tell you now, my friends don't like your friends. In fact, they despise your kind of people, and your silk suits and oily hair. My people are hardworking, Senator. Italians helped build this country, helped defend it. All I'm asking for is for my fair share of the American dream. Now, can I count on you to help me? Maybe. You talk about the American dream, but America doesn't owe you nothing. You gotta earn it, son, and you can't even do that yourself. If you want my help, then tell me. What's really in it for you? Respect, Senator. I need your help because I'm tired of being in Michael Corleone's shadow. Is that such a bad thing? To make a name for myself? And if we get rich in the process, so be it. Now we're getting somewhere. Say it ain't about business or politics. It's about showing up your old boss. At least now you're being honest. So this deal, does anyone else know about it? No, just you and me. No one else needs to get a cut. That's why I want to move fast, before others get involved. So I need to know, are you in or out? You know what? I don't have to like you, but I like your style. I'm in. I get my friends to help for a fee. But in deals like this, I usually expect there to be other benefits as well. Naturally. These partners have executive privileges at gentlemen's clubs all over America. If that's something that might interest you, I can make sure you get on the list, so to speak. Is that so? Yes. Well, indeed, I would like to be on that list. So to speak, of course. Well, Senator, as a token of my friendship, how would you like a complimentary stay at La Maison Rouge? In fact, feel free to visit any time you're in New York. You'll always be welcome. I like your style. Okay, Dominic, it's a deal. Thank you, Senator. I'll have Tom contact you with the details. You're all right. I'll see you around. Enjoy yourself, Senator. He's waking up. You should get over here. Thanks, Tom. I'm on my way. Tom. Come on, step away. I thought we could help you. Hagen, listen. I did not... I didn't do anything. I know. It's okay. You're very lucky I was called before anyone else. Nobody knows. Just a game. I... I'll fix it. How did it happen? I... I remember. She was laughing. I passed out. When I woke up, I was on the floor. <laughs> Senator, we're putting a call into your office. Explain that you'll be there tomorrow afternoon. You decided to spend the night at one of our hotels as a guest. Jesus! Pat, look at me. This girl has no family. Nobody knows that she worked here. It'll be as if she never existed. All that's left is our friendship. Stay here, Senator. Tom will send for someone to take you to the hotel. Dominic, I don't understand why I can't remember. That's good. The less you remember, the less you can talk about. But you can talk to me. Tell me, is there anything I should know? Anything that could help us both? Well, it, it may be nothing, but I chair the Committee on Organized Crime. I see papers and briefings. 
far as we can tell, there's a new Cosa Nostra moving into Florida. Who? Who are they? The Mangano family, from Sicily. We thought they were going to set up shop in Cuba before the revolution. Now they've come here. I'm sorry, Dominic, that's all I know. Hey, baby, why don't you take a picture? Oh, this a Manhattan. Gary's pretty shaken up. Make sure he stays that way. I'll put a tail on him, make sure he knows that he's being watched. Or protected, I suppose. It's a mess in there. I don't want any of the girls to see something. Nobody knows about this except us, the Senator, and Rosa. Now, Rosa's gonna give her girls the night off, send them home. We can clean up then, take care of the body. We have the Senator. What now? Hopefully, he can throw his weight around, get his committee to dismiss the investigation. I'll look into it. As for you, you should get to Florida. See if Geary's right about the Manganos. Geary mentioned something about Cuba, that this Mangano family had ties there. He's right. Samuel Mangano. They're Don. He was gonna cut a deal with Hyman Roth and Michael. Samuel's a good man, runs his family with honor. They're very respected and feared. You don't want to cross him, Dominic. Got any unfinished business left in the I got room? the door. Hey, baby, can I, I get you some? Out of the car, now! Call the police! Okay, adios. I know about the Manganos. Their boss runs that family like an army. They're tough as fucking nails, those guys. Well, I know Mangano. We were in Cuba together for Roth's meeting. He's an honest guy. Will you be flying with us today, sir? Enjoy your trip, sir. You gotta tell me, how'd you score with her? Thought I saw Don Corleone back there. Happened to Joey the bird man. He's down here in Miami somewhere. Asshole, Michael, our place, what Chief. are you doing here? I didn't tell go? anyone I was coming. I came to speak with you about the Mangano family. So Tom already told you. Good. Then you know they're here in Florida. Yes. And Dominic, this is good for us. Samuel Mangano has strong business connections in Sicily. He's a powerful boss, and I respect him. He's always been loyal to his friends. Well, does he have any friends here in America? Anyone he's allied with? I don't think so. I suspect Samuel's entire Florida operation is being bankrolled by him alone. That's a big risk, especially with the Granado so nearby. It's a risk he doesn't have to take. I'm gonna meet with them, set up a truce between our families. Don Mangano sounds like someone I want to have on my side. Good. But if things don't work out with Mangano, just walk away. Don't cross him. If he doesn't agree to the truth, so be it. But don't make him your enemy. Samuel is not someone who forgives easily. No hay más? There'll be no war with the Manganos as long as the Alliance holds.
You're not thinking straight. Why can't we wait algunos meses? The Manganos. Think you can trust them? I can trust them. And so do I. Don Mangano. It's an honor. It's been a long time since we last met. See, si, in Cuba. A bad day. We lost nearly everything in the revolution. Tell me, how did your family fare? It was a setback, but it wasn't bad. Whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger, right? That's right. We survive and learn from our mistakes. One thing I have learned since then is never go into business without someone you trust. Dominic, I've purchased this warehouse for some export work. But I respect that Florida is your territory, so I want to operate it in partnerships with your family. I want to form an alliance with you. Will you agree? Yes, you have my blessing and my friendship. We'll be strong together, Don Mangano. And I hope that this alliance will mean even better things in the future. I'll see you around. Let's finish off those Granados punks. I'm get sick of them. Those Granados guys are real a assholes, but they're assholes with a lot of money. Well, they're about to be a bunch of dead assholes. We're taking them down. All of them. It open. Princess, give it up. Listen to me. Fucking pay attention. Don't do anything you'll regret. Like this? That goes another unhappy. Listen, sugar. I don't want to get any rougher with you than I have to. So let's make this fast, okay? Pay up. I'll pay. I'll pay. Just please leave me alone.
coming back to stealing cars or something. This <laughs> Over here! Fucking shoot you. Don't do it. No need for that. Hands off, Greaseball. Last oh. one. Haven't you found the owner? Where are your friends now, huh? Well, clearly they ain't protecting you. So why don't you let me run things, huh? Next up, you. Guns out. Please, shoot someone else. All right. I'll pay. Don't hold out on me, motherfucker. You give me what I want, or it might be your body on the floor next time. You got it? All right. You want this place, it's yours. Dom, I can crack the safe. Come on, come Let's on. Let's go find us a mint. Crack it now. Just a couple more seconds. Dominic, didn't Fredo say he wanted to meet up later? What now? Solid in the pocket back there. Hey, talk to me. You should go get a drink or something. When are they gonna clean up this place? He's over there. Don't fuck with me. For a square, Fight. you're a we got more where that came from. Ah. Say cheese, asshole.
Please don't put that gun away. We Let can go. do this the easy way or oh, the no. hard way. That's the one in charge. Let's jump in! What? You can't throw me around like that. Don't, don't shoot me. Run, he's on! And my men. Got it? All right. You want this racket? It's yours. Take it. I see another shithead. Hold up. This racket's valuable. Don't let it get taken back. Get out of there, asshole! Just let me know when you'll need me. got in this place.
fault some days. Stay out of the open. Want to bust a place up. my way big fucking mistake now hand it over christ i get your point the racket's yours okay we're under attack they want that turf back Big score grab on this racket. Trying to get us killed? Tom, I got a couple of girls on a string. Let's go meet up with them. Out. Gun 
now. But bowling and no lo creo. are hardly. Better not be some kind of shakedown. Hey, look at me. If my men come back here later, it ain't gonna be for shopping. It'll be for fucking your shit up. You understand me? Beat it, Greaseball. You don't wanna mess with me. You don't wanna mess with me. Oh, no. Got it. Fine. Uh, uh, didn't think I was gonna fight back. Uh, I found the owner. Uh, miss. He's up. Ready for no this? Either. Fuck you. I wanted to do this the easy way, but now it's only gonna get worse. Unless you give me the money. Think you can boss me around? Think again. Hold out on me again, and I'm gonna a finger. And then another, and another, till you pay. Okay, okay, just lay off, will ya? You're coming this way. She's ah. expensive. Being attacked. Blow it up. Dominic, didn't Fredo say he wanted to meet up later? Nice. the action here. Got it? All right. You want this packet? As soon you'll take it.
I always wanted one of these. Look out! Fredo, what's happening? I hope you don't mind. I made myself a drink. You want me to get you something? No, thanks. This heat, it's something else. On the rocks, keeps you cool. You got a point. So, what did you want to see me about? It's about Michael. What about him? I was just wondering. Back in Cuba, when Mr. Roth... You okay? No, I'm not okay. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I didn't see who did it. They got away too fast. I'll tell you who did it. That backstabber, Mangano. No. Mangano? No. It couldn't have been him. We're allies. Are you crazy? Everyone on the street's saying he wants to control this city. I heard he's smuggling men and guns into Florida. He's getting ready for a war, Dominic. He's probably been playing you since the day you landed. So what are you saying? Did we hit him back? Eye for an eye. Get him now while he's weak. I know a guy, a union boss, who can get us into their warehouse. Take over the place. Run Mangano out. Trust me on this. Okay. If Mangano's preparing for war, then that piece of shit's gonna get one. And Dominic, you'll need more muscle. You got a lot of good guys in your family. Make one of them another copper. This is your best chance to wipe out those bastards. Don't waste it. Capos lit a few fires among the troops. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> 